Hello, it's Jay here again. Welcome to another tutorial. So, we've got our punches working. And now, in the next couple of lessons, we're going to get the kicks working. And I'm not going to go over them in too much detail as we type them out. Because it is nothing we haven't done before. There's no real difference, just different naming conventions. So let's begin by coming to the opponent AI script. And let's have a look. We're going to come to the enum state. Opponent hit body. We're going to change this to hit by low kick and just beneath there we're going to add a new function opponent hit by high kick now with that done let's come to the case block and we're just going to copy all three lines of the case for opponent hit body. And then we'll swap out the naming conventions. So we'll begin by opponent hit by low kick. And we need to change that twice. And then we'll just copy and paste the one in for the high kick. Don't worry about the red errors, they'll be fixed in a moment. So let's come down to the opponent hit body function. And let's just copy and paste all of that in. And then we're going to come to opponent low kick. We're going to copy and paste that naming convention here and here. And we'll just do the same for high kick. As you can see that one red arrow is now gone. And the second one will go now. So let's paste that in. So the low kick will keep the same for now. High kick. I'm going to copy both these lines by opponent hit by left punch. The hit animation line and the audio source. Cost the high kick is going to strike the head. And we'll save that off there. So that should be all the changes we need to the opponent AI. So let's have a look. Body hit. We can actually delete that script. We'll get rid of the opponent body hit script. And now we'll come to the player one movement script. And don't worry about us deleting that script. Obviously, we're going to create a couple of new scripts. We don't need that one anymore. But in the player one movement, we're going to copy and paste both these static balls in where we say player is punching left and right we're going to change that player is let's just say kicking low and the next one to kicking high and let's change the comment so punching left will change to kicking low. And for the next line we'll change to kicking high. 
And let's just save that for now. Let's continue to come down. So let's have a look. Void start will be the next one. We'll copy and paste where we set the player punching left and right to false. And I'm sure you've guessed we're going to change that to kicking low and high. And again, remembering to change the comment as well. So that's them set up now. So let's come down. And we'll come down to near the bottom of the script. And let me have a look. Where are we? Wait for animations. We're going to copy and paste where we set the player is punching right and left to false again. And again. We'll change this to kicking low and kicking high. And again, remembering to change it in the comments. So let's just change that. So we're setting them to false on startup. We're setting them to false after we've waited for the animations. So let's scroll down to the attack input manager. And what we're going to do is just the same as before. We're going to open and close brackets on the if line. So if input get button down, fire one and fire two as well. And of course we'll copy or should I say cut and paste the lines where we change states into those brackets now. So let's go ahead and tidy everything up. For some reason my comments seem to become a little bit of a mess. And And nearly done tidying all these up. So let's add a line in the brackets below where we change states and we'll just say for the first one player is kicking low to true close that line off into the comment set player is kicking low to true let's just copy that line and we'll paste it into the brackets with fire two and we'll change that to kicking high And we'll also change the comment as well. And I'll just save that off for a moment. Now, I did make a mistake which I came across when I was testing this out. 
and it's here where we call the animations so let's come down this was a mistake on my other computer where I prepped these lessons before recording them on this one so yes because I've got my low kick as element 2 I mean I could always swap them around in the inspector but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to change high kick to number 3 and low kick to number 2 and I'll just switch those around so low kick comes first in the script that way everything is uniformed across the whole project or at least across the script so that should fix that problem let's save that off and we're going to leave it here for the for this lesson in the very next video we'll actually make the scripts for the low and high kick same as we did for the left and right punch so as always i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now